It is very symbolic fish in Japan. Uh, carp can swim up the rapid, so it's a symbolic fish in Japan to attain a high aim or high position. So on May 5th, it's called the Children's Day or Boys Festival. At that time, people who have boys in their houses put up carp shaped swimmer. Uh, it consists of like a family father carp, mother carp, and children carp. <laughs> Okay, uh, I know this carp in some point in uh, mm, Kyoto already, yes. Uh, yeah, mm, it's very popular. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah. do you see the uh, shells in the roof? Do you know why they are placed there? They are placed there to prevent the bird from nesting in the roof. Oh, it yes. <laughs> bird, so it uh, scares them. And when the sun shines, it reflects the sunshine, so it frightens them and it works. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. And uh, this garden has various kinds of flowers, uh, depending on the season. Uh, for example, early in spring, uh, plant seeds, uh, cherry, and in May, azalea uh, comes out, and early in, in summer, iris flower comes out, and in autumn, we can enjoy changing uh, uh, color of autumn leaves. Yes, I think sakura time is quite soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's closed. It's, it's for Japanese garden, and that uh, people did not done that for years. All this to burn dates back to the 11th century. The idea of giving lantern may have originated from the custom of making fire in order to grease and honor the god. Okay. So, uh, so the taste is quite different from the uh, front garden. And in the pond there seems to be an island. It represents eternal beauty or eternal life because pine trees grow throughout the year. So it represents eternal beauty or eternal life. Oh, yes. Yeah. And those foundation stones came from Todashi when it was uh, repaired. Because Mr. Kyosumi was so rich that he could buy anything that he wanted. So when it was repaired, they came from Todashi. <laughs> so um, uh, maybe in another space, but we can see a, a kind of a distance. Mm. were in bulbs. Uh, it was almost the half the population of Japan at that time. So it was a quite a job. Yes, <laughs> but I understand it's very big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, on the uh, halo, oh, there are 16 manifestations of Buddha. Uh, upper one is big, lower is small, but to our eyes they seem to the same size. And uh, uh, do you remember the uh, size of tea room? It's the same size as the guys' farm. It means tea ceremony can be held on this farm. Ah. <laughs> okay. Thank you.